Um, so here I'm going to show you how to shade some more Venn diagrams, but I'm looking specifically at Venn diagrams that have three sets, okay? Um, and so I'm going to start with this one that says A intersect B intersect not C, okay? Um, sometimes you'll encounter these with brackets, in which case you do whatever's in the brackets first and then move over to the next bit. Um, if not, you just work from left to right. Okay, so I'm going to start off with um, for my A or for my first symbol, I'm going to shade with a diagonal line. So I'm going to shade my A with a diagonal line. I'm going to shade my next symbol with a diagonal line going the opposite direction. So here's my B. I'm going to shade that going the opposite direction. And then I've got my C. Now it's quite difficult. Um, sometimes to shade in another direction. Um, you can try it or if you're really soft with a pencil, you can just um, actually colour it in really, really lightly. Um, because I've got a whiteboard marker, um, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use green so that it's um, a little clear, but I'm going to make my lines go directly sideways um, because I can't shade in a very light way. So not C is everything outside of C. So it's outside of C. Okay. So now um, what I'm looking at is I'm looking at an intersection and an intersection. So that means I'm looking for and and. That means I want to be looking for a final result that has a cross section of my first symbol, my second symbol, and my third shading, or my third set of shading. So wherever I have the three sets of shading is going to be where my final answer is. Now, the only place I've got all three sections shaded is here, here, and here. So this tiny little kind of set, almost a triangular shape satisfies those conditions, okay? Um, if I have something else, um, let's go with um, so I'll label it A, B, C. Let's say I go, and I can do them in any order, so they naturally come A, B, C, but it, I can do things differently. So let's say I have not B, um, in union with um, A, oh, not A, um, and in union with not C. Okay, so we'll try the same idea. We'll go with um, the first thing will be my diagonal, so not B. Um, my second set of shading will go this way, so not A, so everything that's not A. And then not C, I'll do in sideways green, so not C. Oops, not C should go all the way up, apologies. All right. Now, when I'm looking for a union, I'm looking for anything that has any shading. So I'm looking for this shading or this shading or this shading or all versions of that shading. Okay, so um, basically anywhere that there is shading. Um, now, this one's a bit tricky because, you know, if I've been a bit lazy with my lines, sometimes I can't tell. But when I have a look at this, um, I've got um, I've got line oh I've I've got lines all the way around. I've got lines through my A, okay, through this bit. I've got lines through the middle, okay. So I can't see much there. I can see one here, but if I extended, um, sorry, so not A, um, so. I've got not, 
So not B would be outside, not A would be outside, not C would be outside. And what I can't tell because I haven't shaded it very clearly is whether or not I have to worry about this bit, bit in the inside. Okay, so I'm just going to have a quick think about this um, because my shading is not very clear. So let's go again. Not B was this way. So I might just fill in a little bit of extra shading to make it clearer for myself. Okay, and this might happen to you. Um, not A means that I'm going to have everything outside of this A area. Okay, and not C means I've got, oh, and I should have some not A's over here too. That's what I'm missing. That's not there. And my not A's. And my not C's, I should see maybe just a little bit more of this. Now, once I fill that in a little bit more thoroughly, we actually start to realise that the only place that is not coloured in is this space. This is the only space that is not coloured in. So I want to shave everything else except that space. Okay? I want to shave everything mucking up my whiteboard markers here. Okay? Okay, everything's coloured in. Now in your own diagram you should still be able to see the circles. I'll just try and draw mine in a little bit. Okay, so you should still be able to see your ABC. Okay, so for that, for B, not B, union not A, union not C, I should have everything shaded except that tiny little wee bit in the middle. 